the first man to break the sound barrier, Chuck Yeager, died on Monday in California. John Yang has our remembrance. A man has flown an airplane faster than the speed of sound. Chuck Yeager soared into aviation history in 1947, the first person to break the sound barrier. The achievement in the glamorous Glenis, named for his wife, was a long-sought breakthrough. He recalled it in a 2012 interview. Up until that time, we'd never been able to get above the speed of sound. With problems with controls and stuff like that. And finally, uh, on October the 14th, 47, we succeeded in pushing, pushing through uh, Mach 1 and opened up space to us. Born and raised in West Virginia, Chuck Yeager enlisted in the Army Air Corps in September 1941 when he was 18, just before the Pearl Harbor attack plunged the United States into World War II. He became a P-51 fighter pilot and distinguished himself in aerial combat over France and Germany. At one point, he was shot down, but escaped capture and returned to the skies. After the war, Yeager became a military test pilot, trying out new prototypes. In 2006, he described for West Virginia Public Broadcasting how he ended up in experimental rocket-powered aircraft. They put me in the fighter test section. I flew everything it flew. Then I was given the opportunity to go to the test ball school and in January of 46, which I did became a test pilot, and then I started working on test programs, was selected for the X-1 and, and other test programs. The next year, after several prep flights, Jaeger and his Bell X-1 dropped from the belly of a B-29 bomber and rocketed past the sound barrier at nearly 700 miles an hour. Everything that I did, it was my duty, it was all important. Sound barrier was just another program. I was working on 10 test programs when I was flying the X-1. The secret flight was finally announced to the world eight months later, June 1948. He instantly skyrocketed to fame. Ironically, though, he was passed over for the space program a decade later. NASA required the first astronauts to have college degrees. Yeager had never gone to college. Even so, he went on to command fighter squadrons in Germany and Southeast Asia during the Vietnam War and was promoted to Brigadier General. Jaeger was inducted into the National Aviation Hall of Fame in 1973 and retired from the Air Force in 1975. In 1979, he gained new international celebrity with the publication of Tom Wolfe's best-selling book, The Right Stuff, later made into a movie. He was portrayed by actor Sam Shepard. After the Challenger explosion in 1986, he served on the commission that investigated the disaster. He also worked as a consulting test pilot at Edwards Air Force Base in California and traveled abroad visiting U.S. troops in Afghanistan. 2012 marked the 65th anniversary of Jaeger's supersonic flight, and at age 89, he reenacted the achievement, flying with a pilot from Nellis Air Force Base in Nevada. Afterward, he reflected on the indelible mark the military left on his life. What I am, I owe to the Air Force because it took an 18-year-old kid out of West Virginia, taught me and, and made me what I was. Chuck Yeager lived out the final years of his life in Penn Valley, California. A real American hero, Chuck Yeager was 97 years old.